Cougars number 20 Georgia Tech facing Penn State who's looking for great dig in the back row by Otene and the off-speed shot works like here on another day yeah you know, I have a feeling knowing the maturity of this Penn State group it was straight to the drawing board as to what adjustments do we make not quite so many balls to the outside Holland on the serve for Penn State D'Amico and swept over on the left side. And again, Bianca Berolino with the serve. Cross court, a great dig in the back row by Georgia Tech. And there's the Penn State block. A, a steady attitude throughout the game. They didn't look scared there in set one when things weren't necessarily going their way. And she's going to give way for Markley to come in across the front row. They split that position yesterday, both playing in the front row at times. And there's Mendez. Again. And that's so impressive to see, especially in the area of the transfer portal. It is exciting to know that games are not going to be won and lost out of the seeing fifth or sixth year players with that extra year of eligibility for those that played in 2020. Brings the hammer, Mike. Behind Cash Williams, who they lost to graduation. And Zoe Weatherington only had 18 looks yesterday. So she's a player I would expect to get more looks today. Got tip shot over the block. Georgia Tech scrambling. And from behind the line, center by Otenek. Slide play to Holland, going to the right pin, and he has his Georgia Tech makes a fantastic defensive play. I think for Mac Pedraza, what makes her so good is her distribution, that she's able to spread. He built up this Georgia Tech program into a competitor. First swing of the day by Weatherington, and there's... Of us, and it is a heavy swing. It's just a different noise when she makes contact. Mendez over the block. So this Penn State offense. Domingo to Mendez again, and it pays off. From the middle, Trammell is dug up. What a job by Pimentel. Stretched for it, couldn't get there. Good. Keep coming at you. Punched up left, and the first swing of the day for Alexa. The slide is dug up. Markley rejected, and Georgia Tech's block starting to come through. Double contact on Penn State, top 25. Who are your other three picks for that kind of field? You know, I had Texas. They got beat. I had Penn State. They got beat. Uh, Wisconsin. You know, still these top, you know, six, seven teams that are definitely a step above. And several of those top teams were knocked off. Penn State tough to get by the strings. Mendez gets it over. Big swing. And no. Concerted effort by Penn State to establish the middle so that people can't cheat out to the outside and really trying to take some of that pressure off the pins. You see? Out with the big kill down the middle. Mogridge last night, eight kills, seven blocks for Georgia Tech against USF. Into the sideline. Mogridge forces it over. And another double contact on Penn. Likes that ball in each situation. It is a hard thing to do. Tough serve. On a short set from the middle. Hollins gets it across. Domenico will go middle for Mogridge and hammers the teeth of that Penn State front row. Mendez is. Mogridge from the middle. Gets stopped. Georgia Tech another shot at it. Tools the block. Set point George. Dazzling defense on display by both sides. Throw the seam. How did she keep that up? But it lands. The where, maybe where they're going to go with the ball, just not in a rhythm yet. Penn State chasing it, but George. I mean, obviously the up official is, is being pretty picky, to be honest. Hard. She just have to have her on the floor. Trammell. Got it. And Penn State. Bill Novick on the serve for the Nittany Lions. Long back set and a bigger block by Penn State. They'll run it to the middle with Pierce. To Pierce. Serve from Mendez. Sweeps it over and that will go left side with Otene. Can't get it. Back to her. And a bit wonky. He's in another double pallet. Holland, second time, can't get it down. Third time's a charm. Point pending to give Penn State an opportunity. Merzik is handled. From Georgia Tech. And too much force. 
Bernalino this time rejected. Joust won by Georgia Tech. Yep. From the middle, Mogridge. They're in the left back. Tremble, an all honorable mention All-American at Purdue by VolleyballMag.com. Penn State's. You really start to question yourself. It's going to take them out of their comfort zone for sure. And there's that big swing by Weather. Mogridge in the middle. She got the touch in, picked up by the Yellow Jackets. Markley. No contact. You know, and, that, and that's just their personality. And I think Michelle Collier is fine with that. You don't have to try to be something you're not. This seems to really work for this team. Tell the libero. Penn State upset. They thought that was a throw by Pierce. And I certainly think that. If Merzik can hit it. Bertolino. Teed up on the right side. Out left for Merzik. And she. Defense against her. Merzik. Starting to rack up. Out for Bernalino. And they're going to get Penn State with another double. Pedraza for Merzik. What a pickup by Pimentel. And there is that Penn station for her to be in. Leah Harper with some ties to this area. Her dad was Travis Harper, played for the Rays in the early 2000s. From the middle. Mogridge is handled. Weatherington. She is a slut. Nailed the pass. It has been a 10-2 run for Penn State. Got the touch, and Georgia Tech. Now left Weatherington. Nope. Penn State trying to close it here. Pedraza goes to the middle. Trammell. Man, they'll blow it dead. That's a point for Georgia Tech. Establishing rhythm early. Mendez can't time it up. That's a There's that Penn State block again, make it all. It's still the only team with a service ace in this match. Nearly had another. It's a Penn State point all the same. Trammell called player, mom played in Minnesota. She's in it center for Penn State and teeing it up for the big swing by Trammell. Jillian Grimes unloads it. D'Amico on a back set right side for Mendez. You bet. Point Pence really liked her passing, particularly as of late. D'Amico out left. Penn State's big arms come through again. Mendez at that right pin has been a menace tonight. Nearly had an ace. Good pick up by Penn State. D'Amico to the pipe. And the soft touch gets it. From the pipe, it's Merzik. Give and go to Bertolino. From the pipe by Merzik, and she got it. Trammell, and she put it down. From the left pin, Merzik again, and she's starting to cook a little bit. And there is Trammell. Can't get it down. Back to the middle, Mogridge. Out of system, into the pipe. Boy, Jess Merzik showing off why she... Bertolino finesses it over. Mark Lee. Overpass, Mogridge makes him pay. Mark Lee again. Trampolines it off the hands. D'Amico, left side. Tamara Otene. And this team is doing a good job of allowing their defense to keep them in some points. It doesn't have to be one-on-one -on -one big swing. 
Yeah. And not even just here in Tampa, but across the country. Probably the theme is, hey, what, what's happening on our side of the net? It's so early in the season. You're still working through personnel issues. Big swing. Penn State will get another try. And there's the Merzik. Back to her. This one a little sharper. Great dig by Pimentel. Mendez handled by Stark. Punch to the air. And that's a point. Too long. Point Georgia Tech. And they'll take the third on the service error. The Yellow Jackets have a chance for in college volleyball. Do we have another Georgia Tech 2 1 lead? Coming into that. Weatherington taps it across. Bergolino, you bet. Georgia Tech has lead. Because they don't just pop it up into the air, they place the ball even with one arm. It's incredible. Good swing by Mendez. Weatherington, she's got herself a kill, make it four. For Out of system and a free ball sent by the Libero Grimes. Solo block alley, Holland. Merzik. Well, she's got some business to take care of. A big to Mary Wise, the head coach for Florida this week. And we asked her about Coach Scolier and Coach Shepherdson, the head coaches for Georgia Tech and Penn State, respectively. Yes, that is his coaches. Yeah, I talked to Nick Sharon as part of this match, the assistant for Florida at that time. And we also were reminiscing about that. And he literally said, I don't know how we beat them. You know, they. Alexis, or Alexa Markley will send it away. From the right pin. Hello, Larissa Mendez. Does she close every block? Pedraza goes out left side. And there's the aforementioned power from Jessen attack error. Otene with some fire brings the hammer. We've talked a lot about Bertolino, and understandably so with her pedigree. But Otene has been fabulous as well as Dion. 304 hitting efficiency for Georgia Tech and a 222 for Penn State. Both teams with pretty good numbers here in this fourth set. There's a tee up for Bertolino. She got it. With some really difficult group of five programs on the horizon back in their own gym. There goes Georgia Tech again. And to put an exclamation point, an opening weekend for Georgia Tech. And tools the block point Penn State out of the timeout. Just Merzik were served. Otene. An absolute meteorite for how you're going to shake out in the bracket. And that's the impact of these out of conference games. And Georgia Tech touches two. of this team. And has she proven that here today? We are certainly seeing that. I think that's another great takeaway. Another takeaway is that just Merzik. Tough of the net, point Georgia Tech. So, all ACC selection you mentioned. So they can play on either side with her. They've got options. And right on cue, there is Cameron Hanna. Cameron Hanna, Ali Van Ekren, a graduate transfer as well, comes in at the center position. So they make a double sub here. The e Lions go right. Hanna. Handled. And back out to Otene. She got it. It is match point Georgia. Pushes it across, left it wide. Georgia Tech wins in program history. The year in this edition of Georgia Tech, but boy, are there a lot of positives on this team, and it's going to be. Lions, you see the talent; they just got to put it together. Absolutely, I think it's a mental game right now for Penn. State.